That's terrifying. How can they make someone that looks so stunning so scary like that? Flo, you got time to lean, you got time to clean, huh? Starving. What do we get to eat? Same as the clients. I'm not eating that. At Canyon Valley, we're supposed to lead by example. This is leading by example? What is that? It's not for us, stupido. It's for the clients. They're allowed to have pudding on the spa day. It's like a, a last hurrah before the real work starts. Get to work. Hey, Frank, will you throw them more asparagus? That's pudding? Looks weird. Oh. Is it just caramel or something? Don't you double dip. Don't you do it, Dean. What do you know? I think it's my spa day, too. There's gonna be something in there. Oh, he double dipped. You little scruffer. Okay, good job, guys. Go to uh, Downward Dog. Hold it for five minutes. Five minutes? It's usually 30 seconds. Right, yeah, 30 seconds. That's what, that's what I meant. <laughs> okay, uh, just come around, make sure everybody's form is okay. The fact that he could do that for five minutes, just, God bless. Can you see the mark there? <sighs> I'm very heady, but... Uh, good job. Great. Mm. So what's gonna be in that pudding? Mm. A sedative? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was class. It was, uh... Great. Yeah. Agent Freely! What are you doing here? Agent Fraley? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. She must be pretty out of it, huh? Oh, excuse me. Sorry. I gotta get this. Yeah. Have a good one. Sammy. Dean. What's wrong with you? I need your help. Where are you? Dean. Sweet potatoes. <laughs> Sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes. <laughs> Dean. Hey. Wake up! It took you so long. What the hell happened? I was drugged. Dr uh, what? Uh, pudding. It was supposed to be for the clients, but I couldn't resist. But salted caramel? Yeah. Wait, it's man. caramel. Best of both worlds. Salty and sweet. Right. Uh. Right, you stay here. No, no, no. I'm gonna come with you. You ain't going nowhere, my dude. Go ahead, man. I'll catch up. Yeah. <laughs> a little creeper. What's in it? Relax, Jack Lelaine. It's low cow, non fat milk, sea salt. No, no, not the ingredients. The something extra. Chill, man. Supplements, okay? What kind of supplements? Here, hey. Ugh. These are not supplements, they're roofies. What? How do you know what roofies look like? How do you not know? You think I want to end up in a hotel bathtub with my kidney carved out? He looks so tired, doesn't he? You know, I didn't mean to bail on you fellas, but I've been waiting over six months to get into Canyon Valley. And let me tell you, it was worth it. I already lost 10 pounds. In, in one day. No offense, Sheriff, because you look great. Um, but aren't you the least bit curious as to how you dropped 10 in a day? Well, to tell you the truth, Agent, I don't give a flying fudge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd probably be me. Husband Doug left me last year. Because he said I loved cookie dough milkshakes more than him. I mean, you probably did. That. It's not a bad thing. Thanks. Milkshakes are good. Whoever said you eat your pain? Not me. I guzzled it. <laughs> oh, she's so sweet. Anywho. Anywho. I guess I just wanted to feel pretty again. Oh, you are pretty. And Canyon Valley did that. No. Only question is, what are you doing here? You did that. <laughs> The new guys aren't personal trainers. What are you talking about? I did a little digging. I found this in their glove compartment. They're fits? Worse. They're hunters. Oh, Why are hunters here? Maybe because of this? Oh my god. Do you think... I do. What are we going to do? Relax, I'll take care of it just to get rid of the evidence. Hmm. Is there going to be a new person that's doing the killings? Or is it actually going to be the couple that's doing it? Because why would they need to do it if they've got this business where they can just keep eating the fat from people? Oh my gosh. That makes me feel physically sick. Do not put that near your mouth. OK. 
Okay, I'm no health nut, but that is just wrong. All right, talk. This isn't what you think. I believe that it's not what we think. Well, then what are you? I'm a beach taco. A what? A fish taco? A beach taco. <laughs> it means Peruvian fat soaker. Never heard of it, so... Oh, I need one of those. Can I get your number? We're just parasites. Oh, well, in that case... Look, I would... The prettiest parasite I ever did see. Okay, this... This is why Larry and I started Canyon Valley. We could help people lose weight, and I could feed. It was a win-win. Yeah, except for the two you Dyson to death. That wasn't me. Well, then who was it? Are you pregnant? Alonso. The dude from the cafeteria? He's my brother. Oh. I knew you were a lost cause. Unlike your sister, you're weak. Good to see you too, Larry. How could you do this to her? To us? Do what? This? Oh, that. Oh. Yeah, that. You know what that means? He's gonna die now, isn't he? Huh? Now there are hunters here. It's your fault, Blanco. If you didn't starve me, Listen, maybe... freak! Your sister and I have spent years building this operation. And if you think I'm gonna let your gluttony destroy it, you got another thing coming. I want you out. Now. I'm not leaving Moritza. Well, I got news for you, pal. She doesn't want you here either. Either you leave, or I'll make you. He's gonna kill you now. Lovely. To be fair, he was calling him a freak, but he's with his sister. Unless that's like a fake relationship for this. Why couldn't he have just been the same? Instead of putting him in the kitchen, why couldn't he have been one of these therapists? Let me guess. Alonzo wasn't a big fan of portion control, was he? Oh, did he just keep killing them so then they put him into the kitchen? During a routine treatment, he almost killed a client. Right. Okay. He sucked out too much fat. I demoted him to kitchen duty. Oh my god. But he said the more I deprived him, the hungrier he got. And now three people are dead. My husband. So it was a real relationship? What about her? Well, do we figure out what side she's on? She stays put. I am on your side. Okay, then how do we kill him? You've asked her how to kill her own brother. Dinora. guy that makes the pudding also dead. <laughs> you and stupid don't have no chance. Ugh. The bat makes us stronger. Your sister didn't mention that when she ratted you out. You're lying! Did they have to cut the weird tongue thing out? Like the suction thing? Is that how you kill them? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. That is so, so gross. Ugh. Yeah, once this place clears out, Gotta make this a family affair. Wait, Dean. <laughs> we're not gonna kill Maritza. You said that you wanted to keep things strictly business. Well, last I checked, we were in the business of killing monsters. Dean. I wanted to keep things strictly business between us, but I still have a heart. What if I had crossed paths with a hunter back when I was possessed by Gadrin? I could have ended up dead too. Would I have deserved that? Would I have deserved to die? Yeah, come on, Dean. This is one thing that really irks me about Dean. About what you said the other day. I thought it didn't bother you. you know, oh, it's Sam, bothered him a whole lot. I saved your hide back there. Why is his lip worse now? Can someone let me know that? I may not think things all the way through. Okay, but what I do, I do because it's the right thing. I do it again. And that is the problem. You, you think you're my savior, my, my brother, the hero. You, you swoop in and even when you mess up, you think what you're doing is worth it because you've convinced yourself you're doing more good than bad, but you're not. I mean, Kevin's dead, Crowley's in the wind. Uh, we're no closer to beating this angel thing. 
Please tell me, what is the upside of me being alive? Are you kidding me? You and me, fighting a good fight together. <sighs> but he doesn't want that to say. Okay. Just once. Don't be be honest with me. Say, you didn't don't be save selfish. Me for me. You saved you did him it for him. For you. Yeah. What are you talking about? I was ready to die. I was ready. I should have died. But you, you didn't want to be alone. And that's what all this boils down to. You can't stand the thought of being alone. All right. I'll give you this much. You are certainly willing to do the sacrificing. As long as you're not the one being hurt. Wow. Now, you want to be honest. If the situation were reversed, and I was dying, you'd do the same thing. No, Dean. Oh, shit. I wouldn't. Same circumstances. I wouldn't. So he's done it because he thinks that he would do the same for him, but they just have totally differences of opinions. They both think that they're doing the right thing. Ugh. Wow. Again, I've, I have thoughts. So while it's fresh in my mind, this whole thing between Sam and Dean, let's discuss. I think that Sam being honest to Dean then and saying that he's wrong, that he's basically doing all of these things for selfish actions because he doesn't want to be alone. And in some respects, I agree that he, he didn't want to be alone, but I do disagree with the fact that he was only doing it for himself because this is my thought system behind it. I think that Dean's purpose in life that he's been drilled into him by his father all these years is protect Sam. Whatever you do, protect Sam. So I personally think that he wasn't doing all of this for all these years just because he was told to. Like, he loves him. He does. There's no denying that Dean loves Sam. Because like I said a few episodes ago, he could have resented Sam for having to be constantly looking after him. And with saying that, I think that Dean's choices as well is because he doesn't want all of his life to be pointless because Sam just wanted to go away. He's worked so, so hard to keep Sam alive and to keep him safe to then just be go, okay then, bye would just mean that he's worked his butt off all that time to then accept the fate that Sam wanted to go and just said, okay, bye. So yes, Dean did do the wrong thing by taking away Sam's choices. I do not disagree. Dean definitely should have given Sam the right to choose. It would have sucked though for Dean to watch that happen and then just be left heartbroken as well as lost because what does he do all he knows is protect sam sam is no longer there what now do you know what i mean i also agree with sam saying that his decision like he's because dean is so stubborn isn't he and sam saying look at what's happened you can't still think that what you're doing is right because the facts are things are getting worse and people are dying. So you need to be more careful about the decisions that you're making. Whereas I think Dean is just blinded by his love for Sam that no matter what happens, his decision will always be Sam, no matter what. What bothers me a little bit about all of this as well is that Sam gets these thoughts in his head a lot where he kind of rebels and goes against the grain because it, he does what he wants to do. He doesn't like being told what to do or following orders. For instance, Ruby and the drinking of the blood, uh, running away from home, going to college, not wanting to be part of the family business, going against his father, and then he will flip and then end up coming back and doing these things all over again. And I think, like, with the trials as well, he was like, I can do this, like, stop thinking I'm weak, I can do this. A few episodes down the line, I don't think I can do this. I underestimated how hard it would be. He does switch quite often. And for him to say to death, take me, promise me that this is permanent, I can't blame Dean for being scared by that. 
Because if Sam makes that decision, and then in hindsight he would have thought, what if he didn't want that? There's no take backs, it is permanent. I don't know, it's so difficult, isn't it? And to be totally frank, I don't think there's a right and wrong. I don't think that some opinion is worse than the others. They both have good points and they both have bad points. And I think that's what makes this show so strong is because it makes these conversations and these thoughts come up and you're not dead set on one, do you know what I mean? And if you are, you have a good base for an argument, no matter which side that you're on. I don't know if I'm making sense, but I just love the storytelling in this show and the differences of opinions and I like the conversations and I like the debates and they do it well, I think. Because even though, yes, I class myself probably more so as a Dean girl, I still really like Sam. So it's like, I, I like to see from both perspectives. I like to be Switzerland in this scenario because I, I love them for very different reasons as well. Like Sam's heart and Sam's passion and compassion as well. He's a very compassionate person. And his strength, he's so strong. I think his insecurities as well make him the person that he is and make him more interesting and layered. And then with Dean, I like the fact that he's headstrong and likes to take that leadership role. And I like that he's so loyal, loves his family more than anything. Like family is important and he, he does whatever it takes to, to keep that strong. And he's bloody handsome as well, isn't he? <laughs> the characters in this show are so complex and so relatable. If you negate, obviously, the whole supernatural aspect and hunter thing and strip that all back, you can relate to these characters in, in ways. Because it, it's funny because I'd probably say that in, in real life, I'm more of a Sam person. I have more of Sam characteristics, yet I gravitate more towards Dean as a companion which is probably why as well, because you never want to be with someone that's exactly like you. You want to you want to have someone to balance you out. And yeah, I just, I think it's really fascinating. Yes, it's just a show and all the rest of it, but I don't know, it's hard to explain, but I just think creativity is the key to greatness. It's something that I always stand by and this is a, a good way to show that. I'm rambling now so I'll cut it there. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did please give it a cheeky thumbs up and subscribe you know if you want to but there's no pressure here. This week I'd like to give a very special shout out to Ethan Ashenburner. I want to thank you so much for all the support that you've given over on my Patreon. It hasn't gone unnoticed and I just want to thank you personally for that. It means the absolute world and I hope you continue to enjoy my content furthermore. Please everyone feel free to check out some of my other content over on YouTube or on Patreon. Plenty to dive into. I also have a peel box, link in the description, along with my social medias. Thanks so much for watching guys. Stay safe everyone and I hope to see you all again soon for another video. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.